Hi everyone, welcome back to Friday Favourites where I share with you my bits of my stationery collection and which bits are my favourites. Um, so following on from last week where I did my big Kiki K notepads, today I'm going to do my little ones. These are the B6, I want to say, range of notepads. As you can see, I have far, far too many of these ones. Um, but these are the ones I tend to use more in my planner than any other. Um, so I do really like them. So I'm going to start off with this one. This is the 3AM notepad. This is probably one that I never actually realized was a notepad. I thought it was just like a plain white paper. Every time I went in, it wasn't until I had a good look at it that I realized it actually was pattern paper and I could actually use it. Um, so I grabbed it a little while ago now. Um, I do really like this one. It is a really, it goes with the inspiration sort of range. Um, I love the colours, they're really pastel, I love that blue. Um, as I said with the one I did last week, um, I haven't done walkthroughs of probably most of these, so if you do want to see a full walkthrough of any of them, let me know um, and I will do those for you. So that's the 3am one. It is really cute, it is really plain though. Um, depends on what you want out of notepaper, like if you want something big and bright and bold, this probably isn't the right one, um, but I do really like it overall. Following on from that, this is the Make Time For What Matters, the new inspiration notepad. Um, very similar to the other one, just slightly slightly brighter colours I would say and with different quotes obviously because they don't want to do the same ones over and over again. I really like this one too, I like the blues in this and the peach. I've used this a couple of times, I tend to use the same things over and over again. But I do love the quotes in this one and it's really really pretty, so that's that one. Next one is probably the oldest one I've got and probably the one that I've used the most. This is from the beautiful mountains range that is so old now but I just adore it. That is seriously the brightest piece of paper I've ever seen in my entire life and I love it. So we've got a bunch through here using those blues, greens, teals and the beautiful foxes. It's just such a pretty range. That orange when I first saw it really grated on me. I hated it. And the longer it's been out and the longer it's been in my face, the longer I've, the more I've fallen in love with it. I really adore it. So that is the mountains one. Obviously this one's not available anymore. The other two I think are still in store, so you can probably check them out. The next one is the Van Scap one. You guys know how much I adore this range. I think it is gorgeous, it is fun, it is young, it is, oh the colours are just gorgeous and I just adore it. I've used it so many times already and it, it just doesn't grow old. I just adore it. So that is this one. Again, if you guys want me to do a full walkthrough of any of these, just let me know. And I've got my Write Your Own Tomorrow, the blue. As you would have seen last week, I had the big version, which was the red. It was really weird for them to bring out two sizes. Usually they just bring out one size in each range. This was the first time I've ever seen them, seen them bring out two different notepads in the same collection. But I did really like it. I liked the idea of having red in one and blue in the other. So that's the blue one and I really like that one as well. Next one is from, I want to call it the yellow range. I don't really think it had a name other than that. Um, and basically it's just yellow, black and uh, black, white and a little bit of grey. I, re I do like this one. I haven't really used it very much yet. I'm sort of working on things I can use this for. The yellow sometimes is a bit much but I'm... Like I said, I'm working on it. I love that one. I think that's actually in one of the Paper Lovers books. And I was going to use it and I never got around to it. So I have to do it now that I've got 101 more sheets of it. This one's just really bright and bold and fun. And I like it. This one is from the, I want to call it the Sweet Range. I think that was what it was. came out about sort of Christmas time. I don't like this one as much only because the paper is cream as opposed to white and it's just it's just not as useful as the white paper it tends to sort of stand out like a sore thumb when you use it in your planner but I do really like the little designs on them they are really cute I've just seen one where I've torn it up but they are really pretty when I get around to using the little paper lovers book that came in that set I'll get around to using that one again this is the new cute one that came out very recently still in stores now I think I've used this a couple of times in different planner weeks. I just adore this range. It's so cute. I wish they had gone a bit further. I think there's there's thoughts maybe of them still doing a little bit more with it, but I 
I don't know how well it was received the first time, so I think they've actually backed off it. Um, but it is in the it is in one of the paper lovers books. I think it's in the Van Scap range in that paper lovers book, and I really really like it. The last one is the Life is for Questions one. You guys have seen me use this one, and as much as I adore it because of these beautiful gold sort of accents all over it, it's not my favourite. It's probably my least favourite of all of my notepads. It's also the most expensive of all of them. All the others in this size only are $14.95 or $12.95. This one was $19.95, which obviously you're paying more for the, the beautiful gilded parts in this. But I just, I don't think it's worth it. That's my opinion. Um, it is really pretty and it is really nice, but for $19.95, I'd rather get a big one as opposed to this one. So which three, <laughs> three, I'm being good. I'm picking three are my favorites. We've got one, we've got two, and we've got three. So those are my three favorites in no particular order. If you're gonna make me choose, I'm gonna go with the Vans Gap Mountains and then the cute. I think those are my favorites there. All for different reasons. I love the the, the frivolity, I guess. That's probably the wrong word, but I, I like the how much fun the Vans Gap one is. To me, it just, I look at it and it just brings a smile to my face and that's, stationery is just a thing. It's not something that's supposed to be all that much fun, but when you love it like we love it, if you can have a look at a piece of paper and it makes you smile, it's done a really good job. Um, the Mountains one was one of the first ranges I ever really fell in love with was from Kiki K, so that's why I love this one so much. I love that navy. And I don't know why I like the cute one. I think it's just, it's such a nice combination of lots of different things. And it's got my favourite quote that Kiki K have ever used. If I can find it again really fast. It's from Roald Dahl, who's one of my favourite authors. And it just says, a little magic can take you a long way. And I just, I love that. That's, that just makes me think of being a kid which I think these are all very kitty. So that is this week's Friday favorites. Let me know which of the notepads are your favorites. Which ones do you have? Which ones do you like using and why? Can you pick it down to three? I had real trouble with three. I had five and then I got to three. Oh, that was hard. Um, if you do have a favorite and you wanna share it with me, you can leave me a comment down below or you can find me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. I will link those down below for you. Please just give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love, love, love you to join my little stationery loving family and make sure that you don't miss the next Friday favourites, which will be coming out, of course, next Friday. Otherwise, guys, I will see you again really, really soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.